Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. I'll just wait a couple of minutes before we begin to get some other people um, who are late to hop on um, onto the webinar. Okay, I'm going to get started. Welcome to the first webinar of this year's Give Back Tahoe 2019 giving season. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at Mighty Cause, the platform provider of Give Back Tahoe. For a lot of you, you've participated in Give Back Tahoe before. But for any of you who are new to the platform and are new to Mighty Cause, it's your first time, first year participating. Mighty Cause has been in the space of giving dates for a long time. We've started in 2006 and we're one of the pioneers in the industry and we're one of the largest, largest giving day platform providers as well. We've helped raise over 600, $650 million for over 30,000 nonprofits, some of those being Give Back Tahoe organizations. And we've tried our best to create a platform that is easy and efficient for organizations to utilize for their Giving Day campaigns. So I'm going to actually pass it along to Ashley here, who's here from uh, the Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation, and she'll take over uh, the next few uh, parts of the presentation. Okay, I think, Whoops, we may have be having some technical difficulties. So if you could hold on for one second. Hey, Ashley. Hi. Hi, sorry about that. Thank you for everyone and their patience. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay, perfect. So, um, Ashley, if you want to take over in the next couple of slides, going over some of the uh, dates and information. Excellent. So this is all, hello everyone, and thank you for your patience. Um, this is Ashley Cooper. I. I'm the lead for the Give Back Tahoe campaign for Tahoe Truckee Community Foundation. And this is the fifth year that I've been the lead um, and the sixth year we've run it. So like always, the whole season is running from Giving Tuesday, December 3rd through December 31st. But as we scaled back last, the last two seasons or three seasons, I believe the challenge grants that we raise would be from December 3rd through December 17th. So the first two weeks of the campaign um yeah so we can go to the next slide and if you're not familiar with the tahoe Truckee community foundation our mission is to connect people and opportunities to generate resources and build a more caring creative and effective community so the give back tahoe campaign is perfectly aligned with our mission to connect more of our community members whether they live full-time in the area or if they visit often or have second homes with all of your missions and the good work that you do, because oftentimes it's difficult when you um, are faced with so many incredible nonprofits to really find the ones that align with your personal philanthropic passions. So Give Back Tahoe is a great way for us to raise up your missions um, across marketing and fundraising and our own communications and to offer this platform to you all um, 
free of charge to really build out your year end fundraising techniques. Oops, oops, sorry. So TTCF works with our local nonprofits in a number of ways. Of course, we have our annual community grant cycle, which consolidates the funding streams of our nature fund, of Martis Fund's nature dollars that they match with ours, Queen of Hearts Women's Fund, um, Tahoe Donor Giving Fund now also has aligned its grant making with ours. And um, this just allows us to really see a holistic picture of our nonprofit community and what you all need. Um, and when we see what you all need, it's possible for us to develop training programs that answer those needs on a more um, macrocosm level. On the microcosm level, we have technical assistance. So a lot of times when nonprofits find themselves in sticky situations, they will come to us and ask for advice and so we might offer any number of um, technical assistance so it could be from bookkeeping to um, board members to how do you scale or how do you um, release an old program the jumpstart accelerator program is something that we've done the past couple of years for nonprofits that de are have determined internally that they're ready to really up their capacity in certain realms. And then the On the Verge Leadership Training Program is specific to health and human service agencies and the personal and professional development of the staff members there. And um, our nonprofit board training series, which I hope a bunch of your board members have all been to, um, is running, I believe it's for the fourth or fifth season, starting September 27th, it'll be four Fridays in a row again, and three to four hours each one. And that just breaks down the best in board governance practices. And it's really aimed at building better nonprofit boards across the board. And then the course is to get back Tahoe giving season. So since 2013, um, we've connected, TTCF has connected with more donors than ever before for our nonprofits and then our nonprofits have built out their own um, networks, whether that's volunteers or donors or people who end up working with the mission. And in dollars, it's been over $1.7 million. Last year, we raised together over $350,000 with almost a thousand donors. And um, we've built in capacity and raised awareness for our nonprofits, which is really the goal to help you guys um, feel stronger in your year end campaigns and through different techniques of reaching out to community members. Great, thank you so much, Ashley. And of course, um, on the right hand side of your control panel, there is a section for questions. So if you do have any questions that come up through this webinar, please feel free to use this area and we'll go through any questions at the end. So let's get started. For this webinar, we're gonna go through just some refreshers for organizations that have utilized the platform before, as well as just some informational uh, tips and tricks for organizations that's their first time participating. Of course, the first thing, if you haven't done so already, please register your nonprofit for the event. Registration ends in October. Uh, TTCF will be approving all organizations that do fill out the registration form. One thing to note is that you can add and remove administrators to your organization page. So if you have a change in staff, etc you can always go into your organization page add additional administrators or remove any if you need to do so so uh, one thing that's changed on the platform since last year has been the dashboard we've just made some refinements to it to make it even more easier for individual individuals utilizing the dashboard to find all of their editing tools and management tools they need so for those of you who haven't used the platform before, the dashboard is, in, is divided into different sections. 
the top being home, where you can find some key metrics about your organization over the past 30, 60, or 90 days, as well as a to-do list that will guide you um, to build out your page if you haven't done so before. Profile allows you to create page settings, edit your page, and also review what your page will look like when donors head to it. Reports guarantee you access to donor information and allows you to manage offline and recurring donations. Fundraising now allows you to not only review all campaigns that have been created for your organization, but it will allow you to customize your donor experience and add matching grants. And the last one is settings, where you can navigate and manage all of your fundraising efforts and create any key settings that you need for your nonprofit, such as EFT, adding and removing administrators, et cetera. And we'll be going into more detail on some of these sections in a second. So the first thing we'll be going over is customizing your profile page. For organizations that have used the platform before that participated last year, it's a great opportunity to review your profile page and see what new powerful story you can tell about your organization this year. What's a story that you can share that's new to your donors? What's going to be different about your 2019 campaign than your 2018 campaign? Because your profile page is going to be the page that you're going to be sending out to organizations to receive donations. One of the things that you can do for all those new nonprofits is add a logo and background image to your profile page. If you already have a background image on your profile page, you may want to review and see if you want to update it for this year. Of course, under a theme on your page editor, you can change the filter color and strength of your background image. So maybe you wanna make your logo pop out more or change the visual display of the background image. And as well, you can always edit your theme color. This theme color will populate on any fundraising pages that you create for your organization. And it will also change the color of the donate button that follows you as you scroll up and down through the site. Underneath the logo, title of your organization, as well as the background image is the inline text editor where you can share your story. The inline text editor provides you lots of different tools to be able to edit and format your description. So you can add different images, bold, underline. We have a support article that goes over some key inline text editor shortcuts. Some of them include bolding, underlining, and italicizing, as I just mentioned. Uh, and to do those, all you have to do is to use your keyboard and select Control or Command, B, U, or I. Within your story or description area on your organization profile page, you can also add an additional tab separate from your description. So if there is additional information you wanna provide, maybe you want to add in um, a list of all the events that you guys do throughout the year, or you want to list all of your board members, whatever information you want to create a designated area for, you have the custom tab available for you with an inline text editor. And of course, if any of you come into any questions or need any assistance with editing your page, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Something that you wanna make sure that you do before you start accepting donations is resetting your metrics. Resetting your metrics uh, will allow your metrics thermometer or your donation thermometer at the top of your organization profile page to calculate donations from the correct date. So to do so, all you would have to do is go to profile on your left-hand side dashboard, page settings, and at the top you'll see the metrics area right in the image on this slide. If you haven't enabled a goal or progress bar, you can simply just click that on and that will enable that on your page. And then you wanna make sure to start calculating uh, your metrics from the date that you start accepting donations. So it's not calculating donations from last year.
At the very bottom of your organization profile page, you'll have the opportunity to add images or integrate with social media. You can connect your account to Instagram so it immediately imports your feed. And if you haven't done so already, this is a great opportunity to maintain your organiza organization page and have it updated with your Instagram. It provides a really easy way for you to keep fresh content on your page without having to go and manually add that information. And of course, we'll go over this also in a couple of minutes. Definitely make sure to review your social share settings so that the image and description that you want is populated when people share your link on social media. On your left-hand side dashboard, as I noted in the beginning, the second section or the third section is the reports area. And this is where you can find all your donor and donation information, as well as your disbursement information. The, disbursement, the donations report, which is the top section within that area, allows you to review all donations that you've received for your organization. Administrators for your organization will receive an email notification when a donation is made. So as you start accepting donations, you can receive those emails. If you would like to opt out of that, you can always go into your user account and disable that. The donations report is in real time, but you can always export that information into an Excel sheet by selecting the download icon on the donations report at the top. If you would like to create a specific report based off a date or day, you can filter that at the top as well. To know all disbursements uh, will be sent via twice a month if you select a direct deposit. And as well, administrators will receive a notification email letting them know when they've received a disbursement. Within the reports area as well, you'll see the ability to manage your offline donations. Any offline donations you receive, please note, will not be reflected on leaderboard totals. They will be reflected on your uh, donation metrics, on your donation thermometer, on your organization page, but they will not be on leaderboard totals during the event. When you enter your offline donations, an uh, update that we've made since last year is the ability to provide more information on that offline donation. So if you want to maintain that donor's uh, email address, their first and last name, donation amount, donation date, and the type of offline donation they are, such as uh, they're a, maybe they're a sponsor, a match, etc., you can keep track of all of that through the new offline donations report area. The donor experience section of your reports area allows you to customize the checkout flow for donors. So you can choose what data that you want to collect from donors during the checkout experience. Please note that there are only four custom donation suggestions and that is something that you cannot alter. However, there's always a custom button or a custom area that donors can add in their own custom donation amount. You can always add descriptions to your donation levels, and that's something that we would also highly recommend. It's a great opportunity to share with donors in a more specific way uh, how they can make an impact with their donation. If you would like to add designations for donors, such as maybe you have multiple funds or programs within your organization that you want donors to have the ability to choose from, you can enter them by enabling designation within the donor experience. And you can always preview your donor experience within this area or by going back to your organization page and selecting donate. The second area within the donor experience section is the post checkout process. So what donors see once they complete their transaction? The first will be a thank you page where you will be able to edit your thank you message that appears on there. If there is a CTA that you would like to add, you'll have the ability to input that here. And that's also a great opportunity 
to share with donors uh, area of your website. Maybe you have a direct link from your website that allows people to subscribe to your newsletter or your email. So that's a great opportunity to add that here and direct donors um, elsewhere. You can always preview the thank you page that you've created. So if you wanna review what donors will see once they complete their checkout process, you can pull that up and review. As well, below the thank you page, you'll have the ability of adding a custom message to your donation receipt. Mighty Cause will send a tax receipt to all donors once they've created their uh, transaction or once they've completed the transaction. But if you would like to add in your own thank you message, provide any text or again, link to your website, et cetera, you can always do so there. For organizations that have participated last year, again, a great opportunity to go back and review the message that you've provided here and make sure that it's up to date with 20, the, your 2019 campaign. The Match and Grants tool, also uh, available on under the fundraising section of your left-hand side dashboard, allows you to display a match on your organization page or any fundraising pages that you have created. This is also a really exciting update that we've created on the platform. Um, for those of you who did utilize a match last year, uh, hopefully maybe you'll remember what it looked like last year so you can see the improvements that we've created. This year, we've actually um, provided the opportunity to add a logo and a title to your match. So if you are planning on reaching out to any local businesses or if there is a specific donor that you wanna highlight, you'll have the opportunity to title it and provide those images there. Um, as well, we've also provided the opportunity to create different style of matches onto your page. So if you would like to create a cumulative match based off the number of donations, you can have the opportunity to do so here. So it's also a great thing to think about, um, you know, if you're brainstorming the different style of matching grants that you're trying to um, provide and um, get access to. Uh, one of the most exciting improvements we've made to the matching grants option is the ability to have offline donations count towards your match. So any offline donation that you add to your match or to your organization page will be included in your match. And as well, if you have other fundraising pages that you plan on having during Give Back Tahoe, you can decide whether or not you want those fundraising pages to count against your match. Same as last year, you can always have multiple matches going on at the same time, and you can also set up your matches to start as one ends. So there's a lot of opportunity and flexibility with matches this year. And please let us know if you have any questions about setting one up or how to edit it. The campaign section of the uh, left-hand side dashboard, or I'm sorry, the fundraising area, uh, the campaign section of the fundraising area will show you all of the fundraising efforts that you had last year, as well as any new ones that you've created this year. It will also showcase any peer-to-peer -peer fundraising efforts that individuals have created for your organization. If you would like to start a new fundraising page, this is also a really easy way to begin doing that by selecting the plus icon on the campaigns area. At the bottom of the fundraising section are, is the volunteer management tool. The volunteer management tool provides you a really easy way to share with donors any volunteer opportunities that you have available for your organization. What's great is that you can post multiple volunteer opportunities at a time. So even if it's an event a volunteer that you're looking for or a staff volunteer, you can post all of those at the same time. Within the volunteer opportunity section, you can be, be as detailed as you want with the information you wanna provide. If you would like to provide downloadable information, add in key qualifications that you're looking for, how many positions you are looking for, 
all of that information can be added on here for donors to review. It's very simple for donors to register for a volunteer opportunity or to sign up for a volunteer opportunity. The volunteer opportunity will be available at the top of the organization page. If they select see opportunities, as you see right here, it'll take them to the bottom of your page where all of your volunteer opportunities will lie. If they select on a specific volunteer opportunity, that will open up more additional information about that specific opportunity, and it will allow them to immediately sign up for it. Once they sign up for it, you can see that information within the volunteer opportunity section on the under fundraising on your dashboard, and you will receive a notification that someone has volunteered or signed up to be a volunteer for that opportunity. As well, that individual will be reminded once that for that opportunity as the event comes closer. So the last section on your left-hand side dashboard is settings. Um, something new that you'll notice in settings, it's divided up into three different areas. So admins now has its own area for you to add any new or remove any admins um, that you've had before. And organization settings is where you saw all of your settings from last year. So all of your key organization settings. Some of those include the ability to customize your social share settings or your URL, setting up EFT, or updating your legal mailing address or legal organization name. So that's a little bit of the technical aspects of the platform. We're gonna go into some quick just campaign strategies. Uh, we'll have another webinar as well where we'll go into more detail about these strategies, but just to get the ball running and give you some ideas. So one, you'll wanna make sure that you're utilizing the nonprofit toolkit that's available on the Give Back Tahoe website. We're going to have another webinar, as I just mentioned to you, but we also have lots of great tips, tricks, resources available on there, as well as templates for email or social media. If you have any other specific questions about the toolkits or anything, please feel free to ask after the webinar or reach out to us. As you are preparing for Give Back Tahoe season, um, you wanna think about how you can activate your ambassadors or your supporters. How can you keep them engaged? And how can they participate this year, maybe differently than how they participated last year? Uh, as you noted, we've made a lot of great improvements onto the platform. We've updated a lot of tools. So how can you utilize your ambassadors? How can they help out this year with your event? and allow them to tell their story about your organization to engage their networks. Maybe that means creating a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising effort. Maybe that means one, a supporter taking over social media for your campaign. There's lots of great ways to think about and strategize how you can really, really utilize your network. And lastly, spread the word. So make sure that your reaching out to people in advance via me email, social, uh, through your newsletters, and make sure that you're segmenting your communication by donor group. Uh, you may want to reach out specifically to the donors that donated to last year's Give Back Tahoe and remind them that this year's is coming up, um, as well as with your recurring donors. So plan and schedule in advance. We always recommend organizations do this because as we all know, fall giving season gets quite chaotic. So the easier you can make it on yourself, the better. And of course, within your email communications or in your social media communications, make sure that you have a clear call to action with a link to your fundraising pages or any place that people can sign up and help or participate in any way that they can. Of course, as I've mentioned a couple times throughout the webinar, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We're always here to help and we wanna make sure that you feel confident and comfortable during um, your giving season or during the giving event. So our support email address is support at mightycause.com. 
We are on Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please take into account that we are set in the East Coast. And as well, we do have a support number for anyone wants hands-on support. We're also willing to schedule a call in advance if you do have a hectic schedule and you wanna um, set up a specific call around your schedule. So that's everything so far today. I'm going to leave the rest to any questions anyone has. Again, on the right-hand side of your GoToWebinar control panel, you can use the questions area uh, to type in any questions you have. Uh, but if you're not, obviously you can save it to our support team as well, or me and Ashley. Okay, so great question. Is it possible to have access to the slideshow? Yes. So right after this webinar, I will be adding the webinar um, as a YouTube video onto the toolkit, as well as I'll providing a PDF of the slides on there as well. So you'll be able to access this after the webinar is finished. Uh, if you participated last year, do you need to register again this year? Yes, you will need to register again this year if you want to participate uh, in Give Back to Her 2019. You will have to fill in the registration form again and go through the approval process again. Uh, so for those organizations that have used the platform before, do you need to update the profile page or create a new campaign or both? Uh, so you don't need to create a new um, fundraising page or profile page. Um, if What I would highly recommend is to review the content that you've added last year. Again, if you're going to be reaching out to the same donors you did last year, you want to provide you know some sort of new content new images you don't have to rehaul the page in its entirety but you know try to think of a new way uh that of what donors will see when you send them a link to this year's give back tahoe 2019 campaign uh, if you did create a specific fundraising page for uh, the event last year you can utilize the same page. I recommend creating a new fundraising page personally because I like on the back end to see my 2018 campaign, 2019 campaign. If you have any questions about creating campaigns or editing your pages, again, feel free to reach out to us and we're more than happy to um, go into more detail about that. The matching grant setup um, is available on Mighty Cause. So again, if you go to your organization page, if you are logged into your administrative account, on your left-hand side dashboard, if you go to fundraising, you will see another submenu open up that will say matching grants, and that's where you can add your matching grant. If you are planning on creating a fundraising page, or let's say you're planning on having peer-to-peer -peer fundraising pages, so you have a team fundraiser, et cetera, you can also add matching grants to those specific fundraising pages if you are planning on doing that. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any additional questions. Again, please feel free to reach out to support at mightycause.com or give us a call. Um, and good luck with this year's giving season. Have a great day. Bye.